Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video, I'll be taking you through three different methods of how to clean out a spray gun. I'll be doing two guns as an everyday clean, and I'll be taking one gun and stripping it right back and using a product called Cam Clean Universal Gun Cleaner, which you can see here. And basically this is just like paint stripper, but it's in a liquid form. So I'm sure there's different brands around the world, but um, this is just the one that we use. Universal Gun Cleaner is what you want to look for. So we'll grab our big aluminium pot to start off with. We'll then empty the contents of that can into it. Now this stuff is reusable. You don't want to just go and use it and then tip it down the drain because it's quite expensive and it can be reused for quite a long time. It's a very uh, powerful um, solvent though and it's got heaps of bad stuff in there so I re recommend wearing all your PPE and your safety equipment. So I'll start off with this gun. This is a gun that we're going to strip right down. You can see here that the spray fan is not quite working on it correctly. So that would just most likely be something caught up in the front of the um, air cap. But I decided it's about time that it gets a full strip down anyway. So I thought I'd make a video of it. We'll start off by pulling the air cap off. We'll then pull the paint pot off too. So you can see inside these, uh, in the writing there, there's a bit of ingrained paint inside there. We may as well take that out at the same time. It's only cosmetic on the outside there. That's why it doesn't really matter for an everyday clean. So we'll then take, once we've got the pot and the air cap off, we'll then take this, um, the fluid uh, gauge up the back there. That's the fluid needle. And then the spring came out behind that. Make sure you don't lose that spring. Pull that needle out. We've then got our 10mm ring spanner that comes with the spray gun. Make sure you use a ring spanner on them or else you can uh, strip that thread on the on the nut there. And then make sure you take that seal out, especially on these guns. Most of the rest of the gun's pretty right to go in there. You don't want to over soak it. So I've actually left this in real time. There was one tiny little bit I think I cut out. but So this will actually show you how long it needs to even stay in there. So I'm reusing the thinners that I sprayed through the other gun in this gun. Um, and if you guys are doing projects at home, you'll probably understand why, because materials do get quite expensive. So, this is how I always start cleaning a gun. Spray it through and back pressure it by putting your finger over the end of the spray gun. I'm then coming over to my gun wash machine here, and on the left side here, we've actually got clean thinners coming out. On the right side, we'll um, take you through the base coat gun, and it's got recycled thinners. With my clear coat gun, I don't like to put any dirty thinners through it, any recycled thinners, because there can be bits of metallic that can end up coming through your gun. And if you go and do a solid color with clear coat, you can end up getting tiny little bits of those metallic come through your clear coat. So just brushing over it. Most of the gun's pretty clean already. It only had some paint coming through the center of it. So I took the air cap off there. You could also decide to pull the, um, the paint pot off too, but for an everyday clean, this is about all I ever do. It only takes a couple of minutes. and No need to pull the entire gun apart every single day. So then what I'll do, I'll grab the airline again. This is one of the most important parts of cleaning a gun out. So you just back pressure it there, and you put, the, put your finger over the front, and that's clean thinners that come out, so I'm just going to tip that back in the top of our thinners drum, and we can reuse that. So that gun's done. There's no need to wipe it off with a rag. I've actually found that if you do wipe it off with a rag, you can be left with little bits of uh, dust and lint off that rag. So sometimes you're actually better off not wiping them down with a rag. But you can if you wish. wish so. so then we're, this is our base coat gun for an everyday clean. Same thing, blow it out. And then I'm using this recycled thinners, as I mentioned, was on the right hand side here. So you just get your brush. Brushing it through, you can um, wear, wear gloves if you wish, um, which I probably would recommend, but for me this stuff doesn't really seem to bother my hands. Um, so yeah, just a good, good brush over. As I say, you can pull your pot off if you like, you can pull your air cap off if you like, but there's no use in pulling the needle out every single time you clean a gun. You'll probably find um, that, the, as I mentioned earlier, the main way to clean a gun out is to back pressure it. You don't need these gun wash machines, and there is plenty of different gun wash machines on the market, but um, yeah, uh, you, you can do it at home, and you can just mainly focus on back pressuring it. 
recycling your thinners, obviously. If you're at home, grab a couple of cans and uh, be able to save yourself a couple of dollars as well. So decided just to pull the pot off this time, mainly just for the sake of the demonstration. Whack that back on, and then I like to run some fresh thinners over that to clean off all that uh, murky thinners, that's the recycled thinners there. Give it a good rinse off, and then we'll add some just a touch of uh, the clean thinners in there that we can then back pressure through the gun again. Apologies about a couple of the camera angles here. It's hard for me to know, being that I've got the um, GoPro on. Most of the video came out and it was worth using, so rather than having to re-record, I decided to use this footage. Most of it is pretty good though. So next up, we're just going to come back, and as I mentioned, there wasn't much of a time lapse in there. It's There was probably just about five minutes of time that I left that gun in there. We're then uh, going over it with our brushes and coming back over to this uh, gun wash machine and just rinsing off that gun cleaner just with some normal gum wash because it's a bit sticky and if you leave that stuff dry on your gun it will leave it a bit sticky so you can see all that stuff on the spray gun I was trying to get up it up in a good look at it I, I actually thought I was getting better footage than what I it ended up that I was so apologies for that but you can really see just on the even on the chrome uh, chrome parts on the bottom that it's really bringing all of that paint straight off without much work at all um, one of my mates actually cleaned out his gun doing this method that has been sitting around for a couple of months without being cleaned out and he said mate you've got to make a video on this gun cleaner stuff just so that the world knows how awesome it is and it really is awesome um, but to be honest I'd probably do this once every three or four months you don't want to go and do it too often um, I've found that pulling your gun down too much you can just uh, cause more problems than good so I do use these guns every single day and um, just a standard clean which I showed you on the other guns will, will suffice as long as you remember to back pressure them. So just going over that pot, all this stuff's coming off pretty nicely and then rather than uh, using the gun wash machine I've just decided to put some fresh thinners in the other spray gun to rinse it down with. Just going over the rest of the parts too. So you'll notice that when I'm using that gun cleaner, I'm actually wearing gloves. Most of the time I don't. So if you see me wearing gloves, it must be a pretty bad uh, pretty bad solvent. So it's pretty important. If, if it's summertime and, and you're really hot, it actually gives you a very funny sensation. It makes your whole hand cold. And it's, uh, yeah, something I, w I would very highly recommend using gloves, using this stuff, wear your respirator too. Well ventilated area is always good to be in as well. So yeah, just uh, using the set, you've got different brushes that you can use. Just clean off all the paint that's stuck on there. Feel free to ask questions. I do my best to answer any related questions. Like, comment and share my videos. Check out my other videos if you've missed them. Have a look at my channel, there's a link at the end. There's also a couple of links to a couple of my other videos. Just going over the fluid tip here, just spraying it all down, just continuing on with the rest of these parts now. And next up we'll take you through how to reassemble the spray gun. So some different guns are slightly different, but they're, they're basically um, pretty similar. Um, another thing that I will mention is uh, this is all you need to do to pull a spray gun apart. I've seen, I've had this apprentice and he's pulled uh, down the bottom of the gun where you've got your fluid, uh, sorry, your air adjustment, pulled that out and he's just totally dismantled the entire spray gun which is absolutely not necessary. The paint comes through that chamber that goes underneath the pot there. Um, and if you pull more off, then it's just wear and tear, and you're going to do more damage than uh, what's good. So, this is all I've ever done to dismantle a spray gun, and my guns last for an extremely long time. One of my guns I bought when I was a first year apprentice, and it's still getting used as a primer gun. So, you're just putting that, uh, that seal back in the front here. 
We then put this air baffle in. As I said, on the Pro Light, it's slightly different. So it's got a recess there, so you can only get it in one way, or else it won't even go in at all. Next up, the fluid tip. Just nip that up with the um, with the spanner you've got there. Put the needle in next. Don't forget that spring. Air cap back on, put it on straight. Spring and then the winder. That just about brings this job to an end. So we'll then just give it another flush through. <coughs> flush through with some clean thinners, back pressuring it to make sure we haven't dislodged any bits of paint. Unfortunately, you cannot quite see, but trust me, it works. it's spraying fine. Just give it another brush over with a bit more of that clean thinners. So this is just a quick look at the guns stripped down and all the separate parts. That's all you need to take off to clean your gun out correctly. Hang around, check out those couple of links if you've missed out on them. Thanks again for watching, and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.